Welcome, everyone. I hope you can hear me. I'm uh, Tim Stern, and uh, I'm joined with uh, Ms. Karimi and Jeff Macon, and the three of us will be here to guide through the P9 program and respond to any questions or interests you may have that we haven't covered. So I hope you're able to hear me. If not, uh, I guess you'll have to respond that you can't hear me, but that might be a little bit more difficult. So uh, we're going to cover the P9 program for you and give you some insights into this very fascinating program and one I think you will find something of great value to you. And we're scheduled to offer this in March in Singapore to kick it off and we will conclude through webinar here in Fresno. Feel free at any time to pose a question. As you can see, WebEx provides a chat box. Uh, I'm hoping if you have video, you can also see us. We're here at the Lyle Center in our room, and this will be where many of our webinars will take place for those students who are completing the P9 program. Today we're going to cover a number of items, and we'll walk you through each of these. We're going to talk about what is the P9 program, so you'll have some insights into this unique and impactful program that's much different than what you might find among traditional business plan writing courses. Uh, we're going to talk about how to get ready and the types of things that you may want to think about in terms of your own self and your own passion and the types of things that you want to accomplish in this program. And finally, we'll go through the program mechanics as well, as well so you can understand how we go about delivering P9. So those are going to be the areas of content that we're going to cover in this session, and hopefully you'll find this to be an opportunity to make you fully aware of how P9 operates, uh, how you're going to get engaged, and what benefits it's going to provide you. Let me share the first slide, and this is simply a quick biography of myself. Uh, I'm a professor here at California State University, Fresno. I'm the founder and executive director of the Lyle Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. I've been involved in presenting entrepreneurship through education, through practitioner, uh, through consulting, working directly with entrepreneurs now for over 25 years. I also own three businesses, uh, businesses that are designed to encourage entrepreneurship and creativity. Many of you are familiar with the Kids Invent program which was co-founded by myself and Dr. Ed Sobey back in 1998. I will be instrumental in uh, leading this program. I will uh, be in Singapore with uh, Ms. Karimi, and we will be doing the immersion part, which we will talk later. And Jeff will be here in Fresno working with you on a number of uh, opportunities, such as during the webinars, and as you know, and we'll talk about this later at the end, we're going to be providing one-on-one -on -one counseling for those who complete the P9 program. You want to do your or No, back to you. <laughs> Ms. Cream is joining us, and she is a professor here on the campus of California State University and the Craig School of Business. And she has a wealth of experience, particularly in the early days of software sales. She is a very accomplished person, working with a startup company and dramatically increasing their sales. She teaches project management and has a lot of accreditation in that, and has a very good notion on how to develop and present yourself, as well as your product, as well as your business, to clients and get them excited about what it is you have to offer them. Thirdly, uh, Jeff Megan is our head of our technology development program. He works a lot with clients who commercialize products. And so anyone who has an interest in getting a product to the market, that is what he will do as well. And he also advises in the development of businesses. So uh, he works with many of our entrepreneurs directly to guide them through the path and the journey to get their businesses successful and up and running. And you can't see me because I'm handling the uh, chat and your slides. 
But here I am. There's three of us are here. Pleasure to be here. Okay, so what is P9? And P9 is an action-based plan for creating a business. We've been in the business of uh, offering programs around business planning for quite some time. And what we discovered about five or six years ago is that business plans were not all that effective because many people who were doing business plans were tied down and doing analysis and not tending to what is the most important, and that is getting their business up and running. So we tend to suffer when we get too involved in the business plan, what I call analysis by uh, paralysis. Or is it paralysis by analysis? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and we don't want to do that. We found that if you can keep entrepreneurs on task, continually working towards the execution of events that lead to the development and sales of their products, that this is a much better format. It doesn't mean we don't do a business plan. Instead, we take the structure and components of a business plan and build it into an action plan. We have a mantra here at the Lao Center and through all of our program, and that is knowledge, skills, and action. What it means is all entrepreneurs – be successful, need to understand the business and their markets and their industry. They need to understand how they're going to, about, to go about doing things. They also need skills. This is of the entrepreneur. And everyone can acquire these skills. Some of us come into the world with some skills that are already developed and others that need to be developed. But we work hard on creating those skills so that when you go out into the market, you're successful and you know how the entrepreneur works, and you know how to perform as an entrepreneur. And third is action, and that is we believe strongly that doing things is more important than thinking about things when it comes time to getting the business up and running. So our emphasis is on the action part, and over this pro the P9 course of action, we will make sure that when you get to the end, you have taken that idea that you are championing the product or the service that you believe customers want and introduce it into the market by the time you get done. We have coaching and mentoring systems for the entrepreneurs and those that are involved in the program. We will and have been trained coaches in Singapore, individuals who meet our criteria for being successful in a coaching type of environment. They will be working with you directly not only in the immersion program, but throughout the remainder six weeks when we offer our webinars. So you will not have just or just be alone in this process. You're going to have someone who's going to facilitate it, work with you on building your action plan, evaluating it, and giving you feedback on how that's going to work. That will also be provided by us here, the mentors, myself, Ms. Karimi, and Jeff. And we are going to be working with you on counseling as well. We work with the coaches, and we also work with you directly. So you have access to us on a weekly basis to get our feedback and input to help you on the things that are important to you. And finally, P9 has demonstrated success. We've been offering this program uh, to countless numbers of clients here in the United States, and we've had a great deal of success, whether it's been Click. Uh, drinkclicknow.com, uh, which started off as a husband and wife uh, business where they came into the Lyle Center uh, with a powdered uh, protein caffeine uh, drink uh, and want help, and we put them through the P9 process, and out of that, they're now a global com company selling Click uh, in Mexico, Canada, United States, and more recently, Europe. Well, who should be attending or signing up for the P9 program? We're looking for individuals who want to launch a business. It's not uncommon for many people to have a business idea, but they're intimidated. They're not quite sure how they're going to go about taking that idea to the marketplace. Well, P9 provides the roadmap for doing so. So anyone who has a business idea believes that this is something that could be valid in the marketplace, that would draw the customers that are necessary, we offer the path for that. 
We look for people who want to take a product to a new market. Now, that may sound like it's taking the business, but it's not. A business is a entity that you create that has products in it, but it's the business that you tend to as you deliver the product. But there are many people who have a product idea, and they're not interested necessarily in creating a business around the product. The product they may want to be able to develop and commercialize and perhaps sell to someone else. Well, Pina will give you the guides and the actions that are capable for you to take a product, move it into the market, whether it's going to be given it to someone else or otherwise. We are for current business owners seeking to further develop their business. We have found that many people who start a business, they can be 10 years in the business and they can be successful, feel that perhaps they are not capturing all of the market that they would like to capture. That some nagging feeling is there that perhaps they have missed something in the market or perhaps they haven't fully prepared themselves to take on the challenges. What P9 does is give them a ready avenue for evaluating their business, for thinking about where other opportunities reside, how other products they might develop can be brought to the market, and that becomes an opportunity for them to go through a program to uncover where they think they can improve their business. We find that many displaced workers, people who have been downsized from corporations, their jobs, simply are looking for an avenue back into the workforce but want to do it through self-employment. And the P9 program is designed to give people the opportunity to create their job. And so that is one of the opportunities that P9 provides and certainly one that uh, would be quite useful. There are many individuals we find also who work with entrepreneurs or who would like to work with entrepreneurs. Sometimes they're bankers. Sometimes they're accountants. Sometimes they're lawyers. They see people coming to them who are entrepreneurial in nature, but they do not fully understand what it is about an entrepreneur and why an entrepreneur does what they do. And by going through the P9, they begin to learn more and more about the needs of the entrepreneur, and that makes them more effective in providing uh, support and resources to the entrepreneur. And then finally, we find some people are simply looking for information about entrepreneurship. They have all their life or for a long time wondered who the entrepreneur is. They have an intrinsic need to learn and maybe even practice some of the things that the entrepreneur does. And P9 is very suited for those people who are looking for a much more rich understanding of the entrepreneurial experience. of changing slides. Okay, we now have our next slide. Thank you for your patience. What are the goals of P9? P9 is to build a strong understanding of how to execute a business. By the time you get down with the P9 program, you're going to fully understand and will be engaged in the process of executing the business. So that's exciting. In fact, we don't encourage people to go through the P9 program and wait till the end. We want to see you building your business at that as you go through the content that we offer you in the program. It builds knowledge and skills a sense of the entrepreneurial journey. In all my time working with entrepreneurs, I found this, that there are people who are very entrepreneurial in their thinking but lack the skills. And I also find there are people who have the skills but lack the entrepreneurial thinking. We want to marry those two. Because if you can think like an entrepreneur and you have the skills to be an entrepreneur, you're going to be able to execute very effectively in your business. And that's what P9 provides you. 
is the knowledge and skills that lead you towards We believe strongly that entrepreneurs need to continually build their professional skills because part of being the entrepreneur is to be engaged with many other people and many other venues, many business people. And it's important to have those professional skills, understanding how to network with people, understanding the process of negotiation, understanding about how to close a deal in the sales environment. And this is what P9 provides you is the capability to do those things as well. So we may ask, what are your own personal goals that be relevant to the P9 experience? Do you have a business idea you would like to pursue? If so, P9 is for you. Are you going to improve your business? P9 experience can help you to make that improvement. Are you looking to build your professional skills? In fact, what I find is that many people like to come to our entrepreneurship programs, not necessarily because they are looking to be an entrepreneur, but they know that the, the skills of the entrepreneur work in other areas, the corporations, uh, they work at community organizations, they work at their church. And so there's a variety of ways that they can take those skills and translate them to a different type of setting. And so the professional skills we find are very, very important to cultivate. So we are American-based, and we find that many people overseas are very curious about American business. And particularly around the entrepreneurial side of American business. And so we provide you with an American perspective of entrepreneurship. Frankly, it translates across many uh, continents and cultures. The working to bring uh, wanting to know how to get their products into the U.S. as well. And we provide a lot of time in doing that. Are we work with people on how to get those products into the U.S. market if that's something they desire. Or it may be that they are uh, looking for um, ways to acquire resources out of the United States, and we facilitate that as well. And then the last question is, are you looking to increase your income? Certainly, entrepreneurship is a very powerful way to do that. Uh, depending on your commitment of time to the entrepreneurial experience, you can work in different settings. You can work from your home. You've got opportunities to start building additional wealth for you and your family. And P9 is, of course, a way for you to go through this experience and build a revenue-generating business that will add more and more income to your family. Oh, it's your big idea. We say if you scratch anyone, say everyone has an idea somewhere. We have ideas because we always have those moments where we go, how come someone doesn't do this? Or how come this isn't done better? Or how come it's not in this color? One of those kind of aha moments where we have on a daily basis as we go through life where we discover things that say, gee, this could be an improvement or this would be something that other people would buy. Maybe it's that great Hanan chicken that you make, and that would be something that people would love to experience. And this gives you a chance to go out and present to the market and the customers so that they could enjoy it as well. So your big idea could be a product, uh, but it could also be a service. By a service, that means you come in and provide something uh, to the customer that enhances the quality of their life. It could be uh, delivering meals uh, or coming into the house and doing home cleaning or perhaps coming in and saying, I'm going to help you reorganize um, your house so that you'll have more space in it and get rid of all the clutter. That's a service that many people desire, and there is a good opportunity for building that out as well. You may decide you want to modify a product or service, that perhaps you see a product on the market, but you want to change it. You want to add something to it. You want to put a design on it. You want to customize it for other customers. So modifying is also a very viable way or a very good idea for creating a business as well. 
that franchises are around the world, and franchises are opportunities for you to participate in a business that other people have developed that provides you the keys uh, to run and give you the support. But what many people in the franchise look for is, do you have the business knowledge? Do you know how to run it? Do you have an entrepreneurial approach? Because we can provide you the products, we can help you with the marketing, but we have to look to you as a person who has the capability to come in and build the franchise and reward yourself along with the franchisee. So P9 gives you that certification, it gives you the knowledge, and it gives you something that you can present to the franchisor that indeed you do have uh, the capabilities to put a business together. And as an organization, uh, you may be involved in community events. Perhaps you have a food bank to help people who are needy or going hungry. Uh, perhaps a church. Uh, perhaps it's a, uh, a football club that you want to improve and enhance. Again, the P9 uh, idea about how you can build your organization and improve it is something that the P9 uh, program will help you with. The other thing I think you want to look at, besides having any idea, is your commitment to success. We certainly want you to feel that you are going to be the person who's going to navigate towards your dream. We can help you with the business idea. We can help you with the business. But at the end of the day, you're the person who's going to have to execute. So we provide and will provide in this program those who sign up, we will provide a questionnaire uh, several weeks before our immersion takes place that will allow you to go through and catalog where you are in not only these questions, but many others. But we want to know, are you motivated to achieve? The ongoing process is one that does require a great deal of motivation. You're a person who is going to have to go out there and make it happen. Are you a self-starter? Are you the type of person who can get up and go? Uh, when you know that you need to solve a problem, are you out there ready to solve it? Do you develop the skills of the entrepreneur? Is, do you find those skills to be fascinating? And we'll talk later about what those skills are in the program, but we focus on the vision of the individual. We focus on leadership skills. We look for team building skills. We look for selling skills. And we also look for networking skills. All of these are the skills of the entrepreneur. And we want to cultivate those in you and get you to be as proficient as you can because as you go out in the process of building your business, those are the skills that are going to help you succeed. Are you a problem solver? I tell our clients when they begin the, the program, if you don't like solving problems, entrepreneurship is probably not the best thing for you. Because what entrepreneurs do on a daily basis is, is uncover problems that have to be solved and then move on to the next problem. So we look for people who say, hey, a problem for us is a challenge today. We know that sometimes those problems can really beat you down. That's why having a coach and a mentoring system is vitally important. You're not alone on those problems. You've got people assisting you and helping you. Uh, manage those problems, coming up with unique solutions that will make you successful. Be willing to commit the necessary time. This takes time to launch a business. And so you need to find in your life an opportunity to set aside that time and make sure that every day that you're willing to work hard and to focus on putting the business together. If it's one hour a day, that's fine. But we do want you to have a time commitment. Do you have a supportive family? We want to know whether or not the people around you are bringing you on, wanting you to succeed in this effort, uh, to even contribute to the entrepreneurial uh, process. And we find that to be something vitally important. It's not easy to go out and be an entrepreneur if you do not have the support of your spouse, your children, your parents, or all those people who are close to you. And finally, do you enjoy improving the lives of others? Many people see entrepreneurship as the rewards of financial. But to be honest, 
when you talk to a successful entrepreneur, you find it's the joy they get in helping others. When they see other people using their product or service and the impact it has on them, that becomes the satisfaction they have. And you're the type of person who enjoys improving the lives of others and other people increasing the quality of their life or finding more pleasure in life because of something you've done. Entrepreneurship is a great place or a great way to provide that opportunity. So uh, we've covered the first two sections, and I'm willing now to go into the program itself. I'm going to take a brief moment to see if there are any questions. And do be please use the chat box, which is located on your screen. Okay, uh, we were picking up a little bit of static, so we muted everyone. So, um, if uh, just to make sure that this is something not interfering with other people on the phone. But again, if you have questions, please go to the chat box. We're happy to stop and answer them. Um, and uh, without any further ado, uh, we will go on. How does this per nine work? in terms of you and the experience you're going to have. What makes the P9 program unique, other than being an action-oriented program that cures people and prepares people for the entrepreneurial journey, is we have developed a three-day immersion program. So what do we mean by an immersion program? It means that we are going to start the day at 9 o'clock and we're going to finish it five o'clock for three straight days. What we're going to try to do in these three days is give you the knowledge and the skills and some action you're going to need to be successful as an entrepreneur. But you're going to find this to be an exciting, enthralling, invigorating experience because you are going to be able to acquire not only the skills of the entrepreneur as you begin to build them, but you're going to fully understand what that entrepreneurial process is. And you're going to fully understand the expectations of the P9 program after the immersion is over. So those three full days are going to occur in Singapore. Ms. Creamy and I will be there to lead those three days. And we think this is going to be an opportunity for us to get to know you, to spend some time learning about your ideas, but also hopefully build a strong relationship and get a good understanding of what you're trying to accomplish. We use the immersion to also build a mindset for executing a business. And said, that mindset is very important. You need to learn to think by an entrepreneur, like an entrepreneur, if you are not already. So we are going to spend time on preparing you, which will take through the next six weeks through the webinars. We believe strongly in activity-based learning. What that means is during the immersion, you're not going to sit and listen every day. You're going to have presentations, but you're going to be actively engaged in the knowledge and skills that we're presenting. So you're going to be able to participate, to apply, to demonstrate what you have, to find out where you have weaknesses, where you have strengths, and that we can continually uh, develop you and provide insights and share from many experience of other entrepreneurs how some of these th things are overcome. Finally, we want to prepare you to execute the vision. That dream you have, what you want to accomplish, why you're going to go on this particular journey, what you see as the outcome. And we'll find that the vision or the dream is really something that we look out for five years, and we want you to have a very rich vision of what you're going to be able to accomplish and what you're going to be able to succeed at.
So, what does that first day look like after we come in and do our greetings and get to know each other on that first day? We're going to spend time. Are you prepared for the journey? We'll spend our time going through the questionnaire that we provide you ahead of time, giving you some feedback, giving you some insights into the types of things that you may want to focus on or think about or contemplate or share with others so that you can begin to prepare this journey. And entrepreneurship is a journey. It's a fascinating journey and one that thousands and thousands of people like you take every day, those first steps. So we are going to be excited for you to begin the process, and we're going to do everything we can to give you an understanding of what you can expect going down that path. What's your big idea? We want to know what that idea is. We all want to give you feedback on the idea. We want to understand where you came up with the idea, how you might be able to modify the idea or to add extra products and services to the idea. But the big idea is something that we want you to be able to articulate. Something that's critical to the entrepreneurial experience is being able to manage your time. As I often tell entrepreneurs, being a successful entrepreneur is not about how much money you're going to put in the business. It's how you're going to allocate the time and the ability to allocate that time efficiently. And doing it in such a way that you are maximizing your effort. And we spend time on helping you understand the best techniques for you to get the biggest impact of your time on the development and execution of your business. The vehicle will take you there. Well, many people look at a business as a vehicle. They got all sorts of sizes and all sorts of shapes. Some have four wheels, some have one wheel. So how you build that vehicle to capture revenue is going to be important. There's no one way to create a business. There are multiple ways to do so, and we want to share insights, and we want you to consider different ways to bring that product or service into the market in order to capture the revenue and ultimately the profit to make you successful. Show me the money. Where and how are you going to get the money you need to build your business? And we talk about techniques, we talk about avenues, we talk about all the varieties of ways that you're going to be able to access money. People who are enthralled with your business are wanting to help you with your business, and you will have an opportunity to come up with a game plan to go out and get the money that you need to be successful in the launch of your business. Day two, the five essential skills of the entrepreneur. As I mentioned, their vision, networking, selling, team building, and leadership. And you're going to go through a process of learning where you are on those five skills and how you execute them and the types of places where they're most effective. We have a whole segment on selling it because, as the saying goes, if you sell, you don't have a business. So it's vitally important that you understand how you're going to be able to find the clients and to be able to sell that product successfully uh, in the marketplace. Negotiate it. You're going to need to understand the negotiation process. Entrepreneurs and business is about negotiation. Uh, we want you to make sure that every time you go in and acquire a resource or work with a supplier or a buyer that you fully understand how you're going to be effective in getting the best deal you can. The elevator pitch. The elevator pitch is how do you present your story in a very short and timely way? Many people don't have a long attention span to listen to you and your business. They want to know exactly what it is that you're offering them. They want to know how it's going to solve their problem. Um, they want to know what you're going to need, and we teach you how to build an elevator pitch so every time you run in to a potential client, a potential supplier, a potential supporter, that you can quickly and clearly articulate the business that you're creating. Our final segment for the second day of the immersion is product management. 
managing the product from the commercialization all the way to getting it on the shelf is vitally important. And we're going to give you an understanding of those techniques and how you can be effective in moving that product to the client or the customer so that they get it in ease, they get it conveniently, and they get it just the way they want it. Um, Dr. Stern, one of the things that uh, maybe the attendees will be concerned about is the ideas. Um, how confidential can they share their ideas, and how are they going to be able to have that in a comfort area to be able to share it, whether it's from the staff or whether it's from the attendees? Thank you uh, for that question. And that's an important question is, I've got an idea. I'm now telling everyone my idea, and am I going to wake up tomorrow and see that idea somewhere else? We come into these sessions with confidentiality statements that everyone signs. We have to come up with an agreement that uh, you are going to be listening to a lot of ideas, and by signing that confidentiality statement, that that makes you ineligible to take the idea and bring it to the marketplace. So that's a very good question. That's a very common uh, process and procedure. Uh, we like to think everyone is there with their own idea and can be trusted, but sometimes uh, we find that some people may go and tell a friend about a great idea they saw, not realizing that their friend uh, may pass it on to another friend. And so we want to make sure that when you are in the setting of the uh, P9 program, that uh, you have the comfort and security that your idea is not going to wander uh, somewhere else. Again, thank you for that question. Our day. The question uh, that I just saw from Joyce is whether it be recommended all the partners attend the program or just one rep is enough. Frankly, I think all the partners should attend, or as many as possible, because there is something about hearing the same thing and going through the same process that gives you a stronger team. After all, team building is vitally important. We oftentimes find, and this is true in the corporate world and otherwise, people go to training programs, they get excited about what they've learned at that training program, they come back to the office and they try to explain it to their colleagues, and their colleagues kind of understand it, or they don't quite share the same enthusiasm or insights that you do. So think about in terms of I'm going to this program, I'm going to bring this back to my partners, and you're going to have to spend a lot of time explaining. If they're there in the program, they would understand it more clearly. In fact, it would become a conversation uh, for them to confer, elaborate, and uh, develop further the concepts that they saw so you share and, and bring out more and more ideas and a greater understanding of what was being presented. Thank you, Joyce, for that question. You don't have an idea, but the thinking of starting the business later, and should I intend the program now? My preference is that you do have an idea, that you have something, and even if it's an idea that you're not really keen on launching the business, but we would like for you to walk through the process. So you can say, I'm going to create uh, um, a new uh, product, a new water bottle that will be more uh, clever than the ones on the market. You may not be serious about that, but I think going through all the steps of the P9 and learning the process, when you do have that idea, you can now come back and know what that is and the content. Uh, so you can all begin to do it yourself without having to wait for the next program to come about. On our day of the immersion, Who's your first customer? The customer is the person who absolutely critically wants your product now. They're waiting for it. 
When you arrive, they are so happy to see you. So we want you to understand who that first customer is. We want you to be able to think about who the profile is, the type of person who's going to get excited about your product, so that you begin the process of selling, you know exactly where to go, where to find them, why they're going to be excited about that product, and you will make your sales quickly. Knowing your competition, we live in a competitive environment. We want to know who else is out there. We want to know how our product or service is different. We want to know where our strengths are and also our weaknesses. So we spend time profiling our competition so that we clearly understand how we position ourselves. So when customers come to us and they use a comparison of another competitor, you can clearly articulate what it is that you offer and what you don't offer compared to the competition. Strapping your business. Strapping is the process of using as little resources as possible, but maximizing your effort. We know most people starting the entrepreneurial process are not, unfortunately, are not endowed with lots of money. So we teach you how to to take your limited resources and stretch them as far as you can to build the business to make it successful. Schedule launch. That's where we want to focus on what it looks like, how you're going to do it, what that magic day is going to be, that moment where you get to open the doors of your business and begin selling, probably the most exciting time of the entrepreneurial journey. And then finally, we want to get you ready for success. success. And we are going to make sure that when you're done with the immersion, you are good to go, and you are going to be able to step forward and start the webinar series and be able to be successful in the sixth for C series in moving your business forward and getting to that important launch date. Um, would you comment on the P9 program being based on U.S. versus Asian um, content? Yes, I've been doing teaching entrepreneurship in every continent in the world. Uh, I've uh, taught in Kazakhstan right after the collapse of the Soviet Union. I taught it in Poland right after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Uh, I've done it in Germany. I've done it in Singapore. I've done it in Korea. I've done it in Sri Lanka. I've done it in India uh, um, and a host of other places. This is one thing I find, is that the principles of entrepreneurship do not vary much. That is, the knowledge, the skills, and the action are pretty much the same. Where the variations occur, the systems, and you'll note that in our program, we do not cover the legal system because we don't have the knowledge of your legal system. It wouldn't be appropriate for us to come in and say, here is a human resource manual that you should try to develop because human resource law is going to vary quite a bit. Uh, we also know that uh, some of the aspects of patenting or copyright or trademark, which we will discuss, will vary by country to country, and that, again, will be some of the differences. But it really is not, not different in my I have found between the knowledge, skills, and the steps you have to take towards action. Those are all pretty much standard across, around the world. What is immersion method? When you arrive, before you arrive, as we mentioned, we are going to be providing you with a host of material. We want to get some profiles about you. We want you to take our extensive uh, questionnaire, which is going to give us some idea about your idea. Uh, and when you arrive, you are going to receive a comprehensive manual. The manual will consist of all of the content in the immersion as well as in the webinar series. And it will also have a supplemental material for you. It will be very active-oriented. All of our uh, activities uh, will be in there. So you're going to have a nice volume of materials that will be your reference throughout your journey as an entrepreneur and something that we know is of great value. 
you are going to have presentations, as I mentioned earlier, supplemented with activities. We believe in doing. So again, this isn't going to be a college course where the professor talks and you take notes. This is going to be your learning to do. We are going to give you the knowledge. We are going to help you in the skills, but then you're going to show us how you would go about executing them. We have coaching. We have a series of people in Singapore, uh, part of AIIE, who are going, who have been trained by us, who understand our methodology and our systems, and they're going to be working alongside you. Uh, to help you. So, again, you're not going to be stranded or you're not going to, perhaps you don't understand some aspect of what we're asking you to do. You're going to have someone there who's going to be local, uh, accessible, and is going to facilitate that. One of the things I find that is really value for entrepreneurs is having peer feedback. We are going to have a host of people in this session who are all entrepreneurs like you. Imagine people trying to do the same thing you're trying to do, who you can talk to, who you can get advice from, who can help tell you about a supplier, who can open the door for you, can tell you something on the web that would be a value that they found that would fit your business. We have found this actually to be one of the most effective and one of the best parts of our program is that we create a community of entrepreneurs. In fact, after P9 has occurred, we find the people who have gone through the program begin to start building uh, associations. They start meeting far beyond uh, the P9 program at coffee shops. Uh, they invite each other over for dinner. They go on trips together because there is something about finding someone doing what you're doing that brings about a lot of excitement and brings about a lot of uh, unity, a uh, desire to want to associate with that individual. But aside from that, the feedback you get, because we're going to be asking your peers to comment on your skills, on your activities, on your presentations to get the feedback that is going to be useful for you. And finally, what we offer in the immersion method is the first steps of the P9 program. So we'll actually be building the front end of your P9 action plan, which you will submit at the end, and this will get you started on the way during these three days. a series of webinar topics that will take place just like this through our WebEx. We're going to go through competitive strategy. We want to make sure that you are going to be able to navigate your business through the host of competitors that exist. We've already profiled them through the immersion, but now we want to understand how to effectively navigate and be successful in the positioning of your business and their product. We'll talk about marketing strategies so that you make sure that you know how to effectively market your product or service all the way from branding all the way to presentation on webs, how to build brochures, and how to reach the customer. Finals is very important. It's hard to run a business without understanding the financials. We don't take you through elaborate corporate financials, but we want to make sure that you understand the basics. I oftentimes tell the entrepreneur that not understanding the financials of the business is not a good idea. It's a lot like flying an airplane without an instrument panel. You can do it, but it's not recommended. The more you understand your financial data, the better your decision-making is. So we want to give you the basic framework for the finances so that you do not make poorer decisions or make decisions that did not have the adequate knowledge that should have been there in order for you to be the, really effective with that. We are going to present capital acquisition. We want you to be able to understand where you're going to get money, how you position yourself for money, what are the sources of funding, and how you can be successful in acquiring that is our executive summary. That's where you pull all of your action plan together and create a comprehensive uh, plan of attack that's all action-based. This is what will eventually come to the Lyle Center as a full package, and we will be able to evaluate it, and we use that as the basis for our one-on-one -on -one sessions, which will take place. And then finally, 
you will get a certificate of completion from the Lyle Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at California State University, Fresno. Um, the question is, will the webinar be recorded for the, re the references at later time? All webinars will be recorded. We understand that many of you have a busy schedule and you not, may not be able to attend at that time. So we will record them and we will make sure that you have access in time that it becomes convenient for you to uh, obtain them. And the next question is, if someone is at the sea level at their work, would they still benefit from P9 program? Yes, because P9 is about business. And wherever you are in the company, the more you develop your, your business knowledge, the, better, the more you're going to be able to contribute to that company. But let me also back up and say the other thing that we do. We build business knowledge and we build business school, skills around the entrepreneur. And those skills of the entrepreneur, which I mentioned, leadership, vision, selling, networking, and team building are all skills that people in the corporation covet and want to see in their employees. The more you improve those skills in the corporation, the better you're going to be in contributing to that organization. The more you contribute to that organization, the more successful you're going to be. But aside from that, we think that being in the corporation, you can also start to begin to develop a business idea of your own. There may be a time, six months from now, a year from now, where you may need an idea or you may need supplemental income. Or perhaps you can use this as an opportunity with your spouse. Your spouse may be working or may not, or your spouse may be working part-time somewhere. Your spouse may be a stay-at-home mother or father. Here's an opportunity for both of you to go through the P9 program and start developing a business plan, one that you can both be involved in and be able to generate more income for your family. For the webinar method, it is a two-hour weekly WebEx presentation. Similar to this format, we cover material. We send you the material. You'll have everything there to review prior to it, uh, and we will work through it. We'll have an interactive process to it. So, again, you will be able to share your ideas and make all sorts of exchanges, and we'll make sure that we are fully understanding what it is that you're going to have to do. The presentations are indeed interactive. You will do a, workly, a weekly worksheet based on the content that is done at every webinar. That worksheet is a piece of your overall action plan. So upon completing that worksheet, you and your coach will review it, and that worksheet on a weekly basis will come back to the Lyle Center for review and for comment. So Coaches facilitate the completion of the worksheet with you should you need their assistance. And we also provide feedback on that uh, once it comes to us. So we can also give you some suggestions or let you know that we think this is very good and highly executable. YAN, which is another nice feature of the P9, access the WebEx from your home computer, as many of you are doing now. And so that adds a certain convenience as well. You don't have to necessarily show up somewhere else, take transportation or whatever. This can be done at your home. And again, at the end, we provide a 30-minute one-on-one through Skype or similar types of hosting services, counseling to go through your, uh, your, your action plan, uh, to talk about next steps, uh, maybe address issues that you think are critical at that point and to be able to more fully prepare you uh, as you go through the journey of your entrepreneur. So what are the outcomes? An action plan to launch your business. We is important. Far more important than a business plan, in our opinion. A business plan is a good research document. An action plan is how you're going to do it to facilitate your business launch. There, who are going to be working with you, understand your business, give you advice, serve as a link to us. 
if they're unable to get to us directly. They will be interacting with us on a regular basis. Mentors here at the Lyle Center, myself, Zari, and Jeff, are all highly competent and skilled, but maybe some things that we cannot fully respond to, we can bring people in and help uh, solve that particular problem. We're in a university of 22,000 people. We have extensive faculty here in about every area. If you had an issue about uh, designing and art design, we could find someone who could help you there. If you had issues about software programming, we could probably tap into someone there. So we're very robust in the types of resources we can deliver to you, unlike many other programs, which simply are workshops that give you the manual, manual you complete, and that becomes the end of the relationship. You get a certificate of completion from the Lyle Center, something to acknowledge. As I mentioned, some of you may be doing franchisees. Franchisees are looking for some type of a factor in your resume that demonstrates that you understand business and you have an entrepreneurial perspective. Those are the people they like to recruit into the franchising. But in general, we think that having a certificate of completion is good when you go to suppliers, uh, when uh, you introduce yourselves to chambers of commerce, when you go to buyers, you can let them know that you have gone through a certification process and that you have successfully completed this and that you know how to bring a product satisfactorily to the market and make it successful for the client. And, of course, finally, we want the outcome to be a path for you that moves to success and prosperity. So I hope this has all been highly successful or informative for you. I hope it gives you some great insights into what we think is a wonderful program and something that we're very excited about. We are looking forward to coming to Singapore. Uh, we have been there before, and we know how wonderful it is. Uh, I look forward to seeing you there, and I hope that uh, this presentation has been of great value in helping you decide whether you want to join us in the journey of your lifetime. Questions I would be happy to take, as well as Jeff and Zara. <laughs> Okay, next time we're breaking this up. <laughs> if there are no questions, um, if not, I would uh, also be more than happy to take any questions if you'd like to Follow up with email for some clarifications. Um, can you put my email address in, up there? And uh, I'll put you in so they can contact you. Okay. Timothy. Okay. Uh, most of the people here are also invited by um, by a couple of the coaches. So uh, there's a possibility also that you can actually get back to the people who invite you. Um, you can actually send the questions through them uh, or to Simpson and then copy your coaches. So it's all. Oops. You sent the discharge. I'm happy to uh, field any of the questions, uh, share any further insights we have. Um, and again, you can, con as Serene said, contact your coach, or you can uh, contact us directly. I also encourage you to go to the Lyle Center and, and learn more about uh, our programs and see the resources we have as, as well. LyleCenter.com. Uh, asking if I can conduct the webinars in Chinese. Um, not very well, unfortunately. Uh, I lived in Taiwan for over six years. My wife is from Taiwan. I understand a little Chinese, a Mandarin. Um, but, uh, you know, it might be able to help bridge some gaps if there are some difficulties understanding certain things. 
but um, you know, I'll be teaching primarily in English and look to help you understand the program in English. We have uh, people who work with the Lao Center who do speak Mandarin, who are new speakers, uh, Chinese. And if that becomes something of interest, uh, we can uh, certainly uh, bring them in and, and help facilitate that under uh, some circumstances. Do we have questions? If not, I want to thank everyone uh, for joining us. Uh, how, uh, would, how will the recorded session be sent to us? Uh, WebEx records that, and you, it's available simply uh, by uh, tapping into the link. And oh, so, okay. I think so. It's like share, share um, after this meeting, there is going to be an invitation or a reminder that rolls out and say share the uh, share the video or share the whatever, right? That's right. Okay. okay. There's no more questions. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Tim and uh, as well as uh, Jeff for attending on a weekend uh, to let us know more and to let our um, prospective clients know more about Unai and what we can expect. Uh, thank everyone for attending tonight and uh, we very much look forward to uh, conducting this program and look forward to meeting you in Singapore or over the webinar. Um, there's a question that they would like to know how much time in advance do we need to give to them in the event if they have a group of people that they want to conduct this program for in the future. I believe we would need to go through Serene and she will um, coordinate the events with us. Uh, yes, please. I I don't think I got the the question uh, actually, but yes, please do come to me um, if, with uh, whatever uh, requests or, or scenarios that you want to talk about. For the benefit of those who um, do not have my email, I will put it on the chat box now. So um, that's my uh, email there. Uh, you can either send it to me, send it to Tim, or send it to your coaches, and we will have somebody look at it. Uh, it leaves me now to thank everybody for attending the seminar, and thanks, uh, Tim. Well, well from uh, all of the people here at the Lyle Center, we thank you. We are very excited, and we look forward to seeing you in Singapore in March. All right. We're logging off now.